Hey guys, this is Devin here at Tech Bros. Today we're working on a headset. Now this one was sent to us by a guy on TikTok. We've already repaired one of his headsets. Today we're going to re be repairing this one because of these components here. This is the Game DAC controller. This controls the in-game voice and chat volumes. And this right here is a potentiometer. So these, this potentiometer had actually been crushed. The volume knob was pushed in and I've got a lot of the components there. But what I had to do is desolder this component from the board. Let's take a look at that. So if we move the board over, you can see right here, I've desoldered it off of the board. There's the other side. Okay, and then what we have to do is get that back into the headset after we solder this bit on. And if you can see, I hear where my finger's going in here. This is the actual slot for it. I'll put it up on the camera here. <clears throat> there we go. So once the board is back in, we have the slot there for the volume knob, and the potentiometer will sit underneath that. So make sure you install it back on this side. But yeah, once it's in, we should be able to rotate that knob and control our voice and in-game sound volumes. All right, so the first thing I did is I went online looking for this part, and it was very complicated to find. Yeah, just searching potentiometers and then uh, finding out that it's called the game deck specifically and then finding out that almost pretty much no one has it so you can't just buy it anywhere with like the knob the volume knob and everything it's not available from a lot of the like I fix it stuff um, they would show you some a tutorial on how to do this but not where to get the part or how to reinstall it so I was able to get my hands on four of these. You can see there, there they are. So this is what it looks like in whole. So there's all the pins. And then on the other side is the actual knob that you can turn. So what we have to do is solder this back onto the board. Um, what I'm gonna do first is take each one of these and straighten them out because they're a little bent from, I guess, shipping or just the way they they are. But we need those pins to go all the way through. I've already cleaned the holes out so that I can press this straight through and just add a little solder on each end. Put it back together with the knob and we should be good to go. So let's see how that goes. So I'll come over here, I'll grab out some pliers and we're gonna straighten this out. The reason why I bought four is because I've never done one of these specifically, but to make sure that I was going to have extras if I have any issue with this. You never know, I could go to bend one of these and then it just snaps whenever I pinch it. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I did a test fit off camera. We're going to go ahead and put this in. I'm going to show you how this works. So, so we can see the board here. There we go. I'm going to go from the side here. Just going to line up all the legs right there. Pop that in. And look at that. Perfect, perfect fit. So if you're able to clean up all the solder from the through holes here, um, your pins will just sit right through. So all I have to do is hold it in place and add some solder to each leg. And this is pretty much done. There you go, I just put a little piece of tape on it. I hold it in place while I work on it. Now let's get started. So I'm gonna get my solder here. I could just sit it out on the table. Some more where I can touch that. And then I'm gonna get some flux with some chip quick here. We're gonna go into it here. 
And we're going to start adding the floats. Get in here and go. And I don't like to add too much. I'm just going to add a little here on each one to help with the flow. Okay, so our iron should be hot. There we go. Cool. And then we're going to add some solder here to the tip. We're going to come in on each one of these and try to add some solder to it. Now, I do want to make sure that I can see what I'm doing, so let me zoom in a bit. There we go. Okay, and I'll focus for you. There you go. So, I got a little solder on the end here. Let's go ahead and jump on one of these. Add a little bit. So, we're going to need a lot more on the tip. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I'll put some more on the tip again, on the iron. Keep going. Here we go. Cut off. Looks really nice. I okay, need a little more. Okay. One more to go. <clears throat> Use up that last bit of solder. Okay, I have ten or went ahead and tinned my iron again and cleaned it off and turned it off and holstered it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is get our swabs and put some alcohol on them. Go ahead and clean this up. There we go. Oh yeah, those look really nice. There we go. That way you guys can see. What we want is the solder to come up a bit and not to be too concave. This one's a bit concave, but it's okay. It's so good. And we're gonna knock some more of that off of there, that uh, dried up or burnt flux. We just wanna clean it off. What's going to be corrosive over time? So we're going to make sure we clean it up really well. Let's pull our tape off. And there we go. There's our new game deck uh, potentiometer installed. Okay, that's it, guys. Let me zoom back out. <coughs> that was great. And then this is where the volume knob goes on. Hmm. And then we'll just reinstall it in the phone, or sorry, the uh, the headset. Let's see if we can get all these parts laid out. We'll get a look at how this all goes back together. Because yeah, it came in pretty busted. So I've also never repaired one of these. It's just something I wanted to do today. Hmm. It looks like the knob itself has two rounded sides and one flat. Let's take a look. There we go. There it is. See that two flat sides, two rounded. Should be able to rotate that like that. The knob that I have. Oh. There we go. So it just got kind of crushed out a little bit. Oof, it'd be nice to have a, a brand new knob for this. Does this have a screw hole? I think it does have a screw hole in it. Okay, so the screws that I have, I have one little silver screw that might just be the one. 
first thing we're going to do is see if this screw threads. So let's take a look. Definitely the same size. And let's see if it falls in it. There it goes. And then we're going to try this. See how far it goes. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Nice. Doesn't look like it's doing any damage to it, so the thread's right. Okay, there we go. So now it's parallel. Now we're going to go to our component. Just going to put that right on there. Okay, we'll hold it in place and pop our screw in. Felt it thread. Now let's go ahead and screw this in. Not too tight. Now let's see what we got. Some rotation to the end here. Stopping point at the right. Stopping point there. Mm -hmm. Nope, in place, and it's functional. There it stops. Other way it stops. See, it looks like it's working good. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put the screws back into the standoffs uh, over here and mount the board and put this back together and see what happens. So here's the headset back together. So let's take a look at our knob there it is and it works guys so i'm gonna go test the the headset out play around with it and then we're gonna let this guy know that it's ready and we got his other headset ready we're going to ship these back and then he's sending us a laptop for a screen repair if you guys need anything electronic repaired you know where to go tech bros <laughs> see you next time Hey guys, um, just as an afterthought here, I was thinking that I could maybe even make these parts available to you guys to fix the potentiometer if you break it. Um, if you guys want to give it a try, I will have a two-pack available on my Amazon or eBay account, and also possibly on the website in our parts list. So yeah, give that a look, and uh, it'll be in the description as a link. We'll see you next time.